Hello, this is an Epson thermal printer and then I'm going to be showing you how to replace the, the print head. So the model of this one is TM uh, IV as you can see from here and this has a serial port and a USB port also. So to be able to fix this, I am going to replace the printed thermal printer which is located here. And in case you haven't done already, I would like you to like and subscribe to the channel. I have great videos on how to fix a whole lot of office equipment. Now to be able to fix this particular printer, I'm going to take out the four screws at the base of the printer. That is the... Uh, um, way to get uh, remove the outer casing so that I can have access to the main frame inside. So to be able to remove these screws you, with your star screwdriver, you'll be able to get out all the um, four screws at the base of the printer. So here is the printer that I'm going to be replacing it with. You can see this is the uh, face and that is the flex. So I'm going to take out this cover. This is covering the blade. This is the automatic blade cutter. And I'm going to carefully take out the casing. And you have to be careful. This is the power button. You have to raise the case, the plastic casing across the power button, and then it comes off easily. So here is the the main frame of of this particular thermal printer so what I'm going to do right now the printer is located under the um, automatic cutter so I'm going to remove the blade the automatic blade so that I can have access to the printer inside Okay, so the screws are all out. I'm going to keep the screws in a safe place right now. And then I'll carefully remove the blade. The, here is the blade. You have to be very careful. There is a, a cable that is attached to the blade. I'm going to unclip from the bonder board of this particular printer. So you have to pull it out easily. And then I'm going to take out this base so that I can be able to pull out the, the cable. Okay, so I've taken out the screws and this is the panel that is covering the motherboard area. So I'm going to clean this out later, there is dust on it. So I'm going to unclip the, the cable that is attached to the blade from the motherboard right now. So here is the blade, you have to be very careful, this is what cuts the paper. 
So I'm going to trace the cable to uh, the place where it's connected and the logic board. So I'll just remove it. So here is the clip you can see where it is attached to the board i'm going to detach it now so that i can remove the blade Alright, so I've been able to detach it from the, the board right now, so I'm going to set the blade aside. So to be able to take out the, the print head, um, there are two screws that are holding the print head down. I'm going to take out the two screws and here is a spring that is attached to the print head. So when I take out the screws, the the spring comes out with the with the printed also so the here is the new uh, printer I'm going to be replacing it with so you have to be very careful with with this printer especially with the with the flex cable so that the 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 strips on it doesn't um, bend or cut in any way so I'm going to gently fix it back so um, the reason why you didn't get the seed old and printed here is because I've removed it already before um, th this video. I removed it already, kept aside, and I had to buy another uh, printed. Wait for the order of the printer to come in, so that um, I just fix it once. So that is the reason why you don't you didn't see me removing the old printed. But to remove the old printed is pretty easy. Just remove the two screws that is holding down the the two springs. The two spring is, uh, is attached to, to the print head. So this is the spring I was, I was talking about. These springs are attached to the print head. So once you just remove the two screws, the springs will come off and then you'll be able to remove the print head easily. So right now I'm fixing the new print head. I'm going to attach the, the two um, springs now. Then I'm going to screw it up. Alright, so I've been able to attach the two springs. You can see the two springs here. One, two. So that is what is holding the uh, the printer in, in place, and it will be able to make it bounce on the on the paper each time the paper rolls on it. It will just bounce on it, and then it will be able to print out something on the paper. So I'm going to carefully attach the the flex cable to to the board right now and then my blade I will fix my blade back
and so I've attached the the cable cable for the blade is attached right now so I'll just cover up the panel I'll replace I'll cover up the motherboard right now so with this same procedures you can also use the same pro procedure to change your blade if the blade is bad and then get a new blade buy a new blade and if you can't get a new blade around you can just get get in touch with me i will um, be able to get the blade for you wherever you are Okay, so I've been able to do that. Now I'm going to place the mainframe back inside the, the plastic casing. Okay, and you have to make sure while placing the plastic casing, you have to make sure that it's not pressing the or covering the power switch down that is one of the things you have to watch out for because sometimes when you're trying to place the plastic casing because the power button is holding it down you have to kind of push the power button into the uh, middle position so as to allow the casing to be able to fit in properly the way it ought to So I'm going to touch all the screws back. Then I'll cover the blade. Attach the blade cover back and then it is done. So um, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to just fix some paper inside and then I am going to do a test print so that you can see um, what the new print looks like now that we've um, replaced the print head. Okay, so I'm going to place this paper inside and then I'm going to print out for you to see. So, the reason why we replaced the printer in the first place was because the uh, printout was faded and the print the printer was really bad it was faded you hardly see what is written on the paper so that is the, one of the major reason why you should replace your print head that is if after you've cleaned it and the result is still the same and you've replaced the paper and the result is still the same so here is the power for the uh, printed and I'm going to plug in the power right now to this port. That is the power uh, Port area. I'm going to plug it in and then I'm going to do a test print now to be able to do a test print I don't need to connect it to a computer. I'm going to show you how to do test print on This um, model of printer. So the first thing I'm going to do when plugging the power This is the power button. I'm not going to uh, switch it on yet before I switch it on, I'm going to hold down this paper feed and button. Why? But first of all, you must make sure that there is paper inside. So I will fix in the paper back inside. Inside this printer. And then I'm going to hold down the paper feed area. And then I'm going to put on the printer right now. Once you put on the printer, it is going to do a test feed. This is the test feed. You can see all came out neatly. And then the cutter was working fine too. The cutter was able to cut the paper. I'm going to do another test for you to see. 
I'm going to switch on the printer with the button off hold down the paper feed and switch it on it's going to print out the paper feed test automatically and you can see that the printer is now bold and it's legible and you can see what is printed on the paper so that, that is it folks i'll see you some other time remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you have any question you can hit me up in the comment section thanks